Hello and welcome to another episode of the Ableton Life Insider Tips. This time I want to show you how you can use the track delay to change the groove or the feel of um, track. And for this I've already prepared a little live set where I've got a drum kit and a bass that I recorded. And as you can see here, that's the bass track. That's pretty straight, so not much groove. So let's listen to the track. Okay, so now we can turn on the track delay here with a little D. And here we see all the track delays now. You can set them in milliseconds and right now they're all set to zero. And so um, it's best to actually change the bass and not the drum kit because the drum kit basically gives the tempo and the bass quite often can give the groove, although of course the drums can include a groove as well. So let's set it to maybe 30 milliseconds. So as you can hear, because the bass is now lagging behind, um, it gives it a kind of a laid back feel. And we can also set it to negative values. But in this case, the way it works is the bass track is going to be launched first and then 30 mil uh, milliseconds later, in this case, um, the other tracks are going to start playing as well. And now we have a kind of a more urgent feel to it where the bass is pushing the drums on. And you can set the drag delay also in the session view, so we can just switch over. And then we have to turn it on independently as well. And as you can see, the value is there because the tracks are connected. That's really it. I hope you find this helpful and I'll see you next time. If you're new to Ableton Live or Push, then check out my online video courses. More information can be found on my website sonicbloom.net slash courses.